This is Nagin, and I'm so excited to share today's video from one of my favorite places, which is the beach here on Fire Island. Um, what I wanted to share with you today is how to clear energy of food or water, water that you might be ingesting. Um, you know, when we go out to eat, the people that are serving our food, we don't know what kind of days they had. Um, so a lot of times that, you know, we're ingesting food, we're also ingesting other people's energy. So there's a couple of ways to, to clear energy, break negative energy, um, whether it's with food or whether it's coming in contact with someone that might be giving off a very, um, you know, negative vibe. So it's good to, um, to, to break that cord. One of my favorite ways is, uh, using sound sound healing for again to clear energy and basically um, this is a Tibetan singing bowl I like to use this in my kitchen so before or after I prepare food I'll ring this three times And right there, you've already cleaned the energy of your food that you're going to prepare. And by clearing the energy, you're raising the frequency. And whatever goodness you're putting into yourself, you're going to put that out as well. So this is great for my kitchen. Um, another way, let's say you're out to dinner and your food comes. <laughs> clap your hands three times. You're connecting the marmor points here together. Um, it's a way to connect um, heart energy and that right there clears the energy and you could also use it uh, clap your hand three times uh, way to also break any negative energy when you come in contact with someone or sometimes even with myself if I'm too too much in my head I'll just clap my hand three times and I feel so much better um, and another way for my water I am addicted to these water labels. If you know me, you know they're everywhere. They're all over my studio. I have it in my shower head and on in the faucet. And these are, right now I have love, compassion, and health. So water is like us. It's alive. It has energy. And it responds to beautiful, positive affirmations. So, and you can raise the frequency of your water just by adding these beautiful words to it. Um, so I have this. And then also, I love adding crystals to everything, um, especially to my water. And here I have some lapis lazuli. It's good for the third chakra. And um, it helps me to be able to say what I mean. Um, and say it with ease and I love rose quartz it supports the heart chakra as well it's really great for healing um, for loving myself ourselves and then this is um this is turquoise which is one of my favorite and it's a very powerful healing stone you know again it's for the heart chakra and it's extremely healing so whenever you're feeling like you um you need a little bit of like balance ease peacefulness peacefulness use some turquoise and so i just put this in my water bottle and you're right there clearing energy and a lot of times many people unfortunately don't have access to organic foods and organic farming and so even if you're eating foods that is not organic or things like that again by clearing the vibe of the food of your water you can you bless it and you eat it and and it's in a and it's in a good place so i hope that you enjoyed the video and please catch us also on all the social media platforms on instagram especially and um, i have a channel on youtube and that's it. Until next time.